when he was preparing for my trip to India. My friend told me, it's a country of first and last. Here are born those who just started their human reincarnations, and those whose souls are so spiritually developed that they come to the end of this process. Perhaps there are no better words to describe this country. Beautiful and dirty. Frightening and attractive. Simple and wise. India produces contradictory but firmly strong feelings. So, is it worth it for you to go to the central India, the heart of the great and amazing country? India is a heaven for those who like spicy sensations, as well as sweet, sour, salty and rotten or everything at once. In this country, you never know what to expect at the next second. Our driver, I was overcoming all the difficulties on the Indian roads with the effectiveness of a modern homing rocket, told us that he wouldn't drive European roads, because everyone there follows the rules. In India, there is no other rule. You are always right, regardless of how many passengers you carry, do you drive on your side or on the opposite lane, or just cross the international road with the delimiter. The master of Indian drive to notice in advance an obstacle on the road and overcome it just in time. Here is one of them. A long time ago, at the end of the 12th century, there lived a great sultan, Kutuba Dinabek, who was the first Muslim ruler of India. When he tested the domination of the Islam over the Hinduism, he decided to build a minaret on the place of an ancient Vishnu temple, which had to be higher and more beautiful than that of the famous and yet unbroken Afghani minaret of John. The dream of the sultan came into life only 175 years after. According to the Guinness World Records, the minaret was done, but never really served for its main purpose, usually performing a function of a watching point or a suicide committee in place. Was it the fault of destruction of an ancient Vishnu temple and bright faces of smiling Hindu gods? Is it possible to build something cruelly worthy on the ruins of a beauty? Time passed, and another sultan, Ulumuddin Hilji, decided to build a minaret twice taller than that of his predecessor. But shortly after the beginning of construction, everything stopped. Either it was due to the Sultan's death, or because they ran out of money. Anyway, the ambitious idea of Khilji stayed on the level of the first story. Centuries after, in the suburbs of Delhi, the followers of the Baha'i teaching came with the idea of building a prayer's house, where a person of any religion would have prayed to the God in their own language. Since those are people who create confessions, well, the god is one for all. According to the founders of Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah, Earth is one country, and people are its citizens. It's forbidden to talk inside of the temple, as well as to film, though there is nothing for you to shoot in there. It's just an empty hall with a bunch of surround, standing there for wordless prayers and thoughts. Unlike the builders of the second tower, Kutub Minar, the creators of Lotus Temple didn't run out of money, but in contra. A plenty of funds were left, on which a botanical garden to study local flora was built. Among 60,000 temples of the world heritage, there, there in Delhi, those two places are the most visited. The great temple of the uselessness of ambitions, and the great temple of the unity of all the people.
Thus, for practically all kinds of puzzles, could be met in India almost everywhere. Plus, there are a lot of unexpectedly charming models. I don't object, but conversely, ask you to take a photo of them. Though it's unexplainable why they need it. But be polite and don't refuse them in the pleasure to take a photo of a foreigner. In some places and temples, the photo shooting is forbidden. In others, it is a subject to additional payment. No, the sum is symbolic. And by the way, different for photo and video camera. It is absolutely forbidden to take a camera on the territory of Taj Mahal. You will have to put it in the safety storage. However, you can film a video on a digital camcorder, while a GoPro is not considered as a camera at all. In 60 camera. In the group photo, only 2 minute ready picture, group photo. According to local traditions, it is impolite to film people while they sleep or pray. Usually, the first time you meet a foreign representative in India happens instantly. For instance, on the street or in the corridors of the four-star hotel. Here, the line between the human and animal world is blurred. Monkeys are just a separate community, and by the way, very developed. They will have their own temple with pool. Unfortunately, in modern India, you won't find Balu or Bagheera. While regarding the successor of Osher Khan, just think about it. In the whole India, there are only about 2,200 species, and that's the highest population of tigers in the world, while there are 1.3 billion of people. Since the government of India took the situation of a sharp decrease of tigers' population under control, there were built a number of specially protected reserves, but not in all of them it's possible to meet those rare animals. Here is, for example, a national tiger reserve, Prantabhor. Here the chances to meet the tiger are the highest than the average in the whole northwestern part of India. How high are there? Imagine, the area of the park is about 275 square kilometers, and there are about 40 to 60 tigers. That's it. It is more likely to see tigers near the lake, just opposite the ancient beautiful fort of Arantabhor, where those beauties enjoy the morning chill. In comparison to many Indian dishes, bakings are always tasty and safe. It is always prepared right in front of you. I always don't eat bread at home, but in India, I really like local flapjacks. Those ones are called tandoori roti. They are made from a blend of flowers in a clay oven and are served hot, just on the air or topped with a garlic sauce. And this is the other kind, dosa, or masala dosa, if it is with flavor. Yes, that's the size. The friendly chefs of the Gang Tinari restaurant have kindly demonstrated me the process of preparation. It takes about 3 to 4 minutes, so the flapjacks could be eaten simply as they are, or with different spices and sauces. Jalebi, if it's cooked properly, is delicious. It is made on yogurt base out of a blend of beet and corn flour. And then it is fried in the clear melted butter and then in the sugar syrup or saffron. 
The quality is very different. Ask the locals. For instance, this nice guy on the side cafe between Delhi and Haridwar prepares them truly tasty. Three millenniums and dominum, when there were no even signs of civilization in the modern western countries, here were built a multi-story houses, a bit later, and their spirals, like those. This is Char Bowery, where some Michio's people have counted about 3,500 steps. In the Middle Ages, powerful Maharajas have built palaces and forts, which amaze with their beauty. Each of them is worth of a personal attention. In the middle of the 17th century, in Angra, there was built a unique monument of the realm of the love over the death, Taj Mahal, which was constructed upon the word of a great ruler and the disconsolate widower, Shah Jahan. 20,000 workers were involved in the building for 22 years, and best precious stones, brought from all around the world, were implemented in its walls. According to one of the legends, one of the architects, while walking along the shore of Yamuna River Rishach, asked him for a bag of gold. During the discussion of the building plans, he was throwing coins one by one into the river, until they ended. When the walk came to an end, Shah asked the architect about such a weird behavior, on what he had answered. I had to assure that your generosity and patience are boundless, since without them your idea is impossible. Do you know what's the most touching in India? Here, the mutations of the attributes of a national style as yet haven't been created, since even for a true exotic lover, a normal life would be more than enough. Here, everything is real. Genuine smiles and an ability to enjoy life. Through hard work. True Indian dances. And that's not the theater. This is just a simple show at the restaurant in Jaipur. Sincerely, like generations of the predecessors, young pilgrims carry water from a Saint River Ganga for hundreds of kilometers. Like centuries before them, people stand in the incredible queues in order to make an offering to their gods. With the whole generosity of their souls, Indians honor their numerous gods, cheerful and careful Krishna to whom numerous temples of the Ice and Nat are dedicated. <laughs> a powerful Mahadev Shivu and especially a Saint Knight of Mahashivaratri, Shiva a destroyer and a life-giver from the times of churning of the great ocean, a protector of all living creatures, a representative of man's beginning and a perfect husband of poverty, is definitely worth of the greatest veneration.
inheriting the ancient rituals of Vedas. With the deep faith in their heart, every evening people from the both sides of Ganga show their love and thankfulness to the gods during a stunning ceremony Ganga Arati. Placing hands to Shiva, Vishnu, Ganga, and burn icon lamps, which represent light and warmth, a constant attribute of life. It is believed that after several clockwise turns, lamps will get God's power themselves. I don't know whether it's true, but the feeling which it leaves in souls is like the parts of light from the same lamps, which blend with the drops of the great Ganga, get into the heart. Those who like calmness and beach leisure would better avoid the visit to the central India. But even very brave travelers, who don't have years and months to explore the endless India, would really benefit from the help of right local. We were lucky to get a Sujit Singh as such, a very well-educated, punctual, and perfectly speaking an English and Russian guide. Thanks to Sujit, in 10 days, we got to know a plenty of interesting information and got a mix of impressions with a maximum level of safety and comfort. Thanks to him, I would never mix up Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. And thanks to him, I would never forget India. Shiva 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 Sada Shiva Om Hara 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 Mahadeva Om Namo Namo Namah Shivaya